point of YouTubers. I just wanted to put to uh, give an update on the map. Anthem 2019. It's got 351,219 miles on it. I actually got a load going to uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin today. But I just wanted to give an update. When I first got this truck, I went down there to get a load of, uh, what do you call it, slush or something. But it's it's red Georgia clay mixed with ammonia. And the first week, the first load I pulled with this truck, the pipe that loads that red clay bust over my truck, brand new truck. And that, uh, I think that what caused that paint to start peeling. Everywhere it hit, on the back and on both doors, the paint peel there. But that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to give an update on the truck. 351,000 miles, still going strong. Uh, and thanks to the good Lord, I'm going to send the last payment off on it this week. I ain't had a bit of problems with it. Doesn't use any oil. I keep it greased. You know, uh, I haven't told you tips and tricks that I use. It's the same as it was the day I bought it, other than that paint peeling right there. Uh, still hauling tanks with it. Um, still got the original brakes on it. Mechanic in the shop told him, son, you must don't never mash your brakes. Like, yeah, I mash them. I just don't abuse them. Still got the original brakes on it. And these four back tires, these four back uh, drive tires are the original tires that came on it when I bought it. So they got 351,000 miles on those. So the rest of them I done replaced. But yeah, the truck's been good. I didn't have a problem with it. Still got plenty of power. No issues with the transmission. The AC fan and the, uh, the, the heater blower fan started started working the other day, but I don't think that was the truck fault. I keep pennies up on the dashboard and the little holder up there, and if a car gets beside me and I need to get over and I got the light flash and they don't move, I'll reach up and grab one of those pennies and throw it out the window. <laughs> they usually move out of the way then. But anyway, I think one of those pennies fell down in the vents and got into the blower motor and made it quit working uh i hit a railroad track coming to augusta and it started back working so the ac's blowing cold i had to have a compressor replaced probably about a year ago for the ac it started uh coming apart so ac compressor went out and uh you know when i first first got the truck i had issues with the turn signals but since i replaced them back when it was new i haven't had any trouble with it with the uh, uh, turn signals. Um, I took a load out to Washington State a couple of weeks ago, and that mirror fell out of there. This mirror hit a glass of it, fell out of there because this was shaking something terrible because I was pulling a, uh, what do they call it, iso tank. An iso tank makes the truck shake real bad. So anyway, that mirror shook out from up there, and uh, they wouldn't sell me just a glass. I had to buy the whole arm, which was easier to put on anyway. So I replaced that whole arm and that cause that mirror fell out of there. Other than that, I hadn't had any issues. Tighten up the little uh, splash guards and have, have fenders on it. But the truck's still running good. Transmission's awesome. I hadn't had any issues with that. Um, truck's been a good truck. And like I say, I got one payment left on it. Thank God he got me to this point. Truck's been awesome. No check engine lights. Um, no DEF problems. You know, back when I put some bad DEF in it, they had to put new filters in the truck. But all in all, this has been an amazing truck. And to say it's paid for itself, I'm blessed. So I just want to give an update. Uh, 351,000 miles is headed to uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin today. If you drive or see me out there, just wave at me. You'll know me because I got the paint missing off my doors. <laughs> but I still wash it. I get to the Blue Beacon and I tell him, hey, it can't come off no worse. Just blow it off. That's at least the paint man got to take off of it. That paint don't make no money. Truck do. So I get it painted. 
I just want to give an update and show you that the truck's still still running fine, still pulling tanks. Uh, trucking engines are screwed up, it pays down. You know, you try to pick your loads. I'm a little bit picky. I don't haul cheap freight. And uh, I think my little dispatchers get mad at me, but I'll turn down a load and dead hit home before I haul a cheap, cheap load. I just, uh, I feel like, hey, if I'm covering the insurance tags and fuel and this and that, if I'm going to pull for a dollar and a half a mile, this truck get good gas mileage empty. I'll bobtail home before I pull a cheap load. Now, I can't say what I won't do. Everybody ain't in that position. So you do what's best for you, but try not to haul for cheap freight if you can get away with it. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm going to get off of here. But like I said, old Mac Anthem, Snoopy, I call it. It's still rolling a little dirty i'm gonna get it washed today but she's doing her job he's done her job and i ain't had one one problem at this truck that was major thank y'all for watching talk to you later